Good afternoon, this is Jeff with Sewer Tech Northwest. Today we're at property address 2336 Southeast Palmquist Road here in Gresham. We're located at the uh, rear of the house here, just outside the garage door. We have a three inch ABS clean, or I'm sorry, it's a four inch ABS clean out as our point of access. Uh, the one that is, if you're looking at the house this direction, the one to the left is the sewer, the one to the right is your storm system it appears. Anyway, we're gonna insert the camera and check the overall condition and serviceability of the sanitary sewer line. We do have water running. We just zeroed out the foot counter there at the bottom of the clean out. And at the end, we'll run the camera backwards and look at the pipe underneath the garage floor, too. That line's transitioning here over to 4 inch 3034 PVC pipe. I'm just watching the flow here for a second. It, the flow kind of cut out there for just a moment. All right, we reached the main here at 32 feet. And we're going to just go locate real quick here to verify right where the line terminates. It's definitely going out to the back alleyway here. And we'll let the whole line drain out. We'll have a better view of everything as we come back. Located the camera head successfully. Terminates here at the rear alleyway. And if you look at right at the where your driveway meets the roadway, you'll see an S stamped in the concrete. That's right where your line crosses into the roadway. In case you're curious what that is. So I'm seeing some very and it, it, there might have just been a little water still trickling off here. There's a teeny tiny bit of standing water, and I'm talking like it's, it's, it's almost impossible to see unless you've got eyes to see it. It's about a 30 seconds of an inch. You can see it when I pull the camera back, that little bit of water rippling. That, that is, even for new construction, way too minor, in my opinion, to recommend any kind of repairs on. It might as well not even be there when it comes to functionality. And it might not even be quite a 30 seconds of an inch. It's not even enough water to occupy the whole width of the flow line. The PVC pipe there looks good. And you'll see some dangly things at a few of the pipe joints. It's just some excess pipe glue. None of it is obstructing flow. It's all, all of it so far been at the top of the pipe out of the way of the flow line. There's a little bit right here too, but again, it's up at the top of the pipe, out of the flow line. It's not a big, thick piece that's going to snag debris up as it comes through. It's flexible and bending out of the way, and eventually it'll just break off. So when you get big chunks of it in the flow line, that it's a problem. So we're going to flip the camera around here. We're running the camera backwards now underneath the floor of the garage. Everything from the clean out to the main lateral, though appears to be in good condition, has good flow, and is functioning properly at this time. Alright, there is the end of the sewer line, going back into the house. We're going to go ahead and really camera out of the line. We have good flow throughout the entirety of the main line here, our scoped both the ABS and PVC portions, once again, are all in good shape. The sewer line is functioning properly at this time.